Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Token Talk Show. Today, we'll be starting with the absolute basics. Where can you store your tokens, and how can you make a token? Very first thing you want to do is go to electroncash.org. This is where you will find your SLP wallet. This is what the main site looks like. Now, you want to not get blue. Blue is a lovely color, but we have something much better. We've got green. Now, you're going to want to make sure you get the SLP edition because if you attempt to send tokens to a wallet that is not SLP edition, they just won't show up. You'll send your tokens to Davy Jones's locker, and while he's a rich man, he doesn't always need more tokens. Now, go down here and click. What you will see is download.exe. We want it for Windows for our computer specifically. It will stop you. If you have a Windows computer, it will ask if you are sure you want to run this app. Run anyway. Once you've opened up your SLP wallet, this is the first thing you're going to see. Now, because I already have a wallet here, it's asking me for my password to enter into my encrypted file. But we're going to be creating an entirely new wallet to show you how to go through the process today. Here we've got our test wallet. We're going to hit next real quick, and it's going to bring up what kind of wallet we want. We're going to go with a standard wallet just to keep it simple. You're going to create a new seed if you've not owned a wallet before. This is your saved seed. This seed is very important. This is how you will regain your wallet if you lose it. Do not lose this seed. Now we're just going to hit next real quick. And uh, it's going to ask you to retype in your seed, but you can skip this step if you want to. Uh, normally, it's best to take a picture, write it down, but we're going to skip this step. Yes, they will remind you, you should have it backed up. So we're going to make a password real quick. Uh, diddly do. Diddly do is a very important password for me in that I have never used it before. We're going to encrypt the wallet file. And now you can see our wallet right in front of you. So it's very simple along the top history, send and receive. History is the coins you have received recently or you have sent out recently. Send is going to give you your address bar. This is where you will input what you are going to send out. And this is going to be the description you put onto the payment how much you're giving. This is a BCH wallet, so you'll be sending out BCH. And this is receive. This will hand you your BCH address and your SLP address. It is important that if you are sending yourself tokens, you send it to the SLP address. Do not send it to the BCH address. It's also important to know that when you have a phone or something with a camera and you want to scan something in really quick to make sure you can get your coins out in a moment's notice, you can take this little QR code here with a QR code reader or a Badger wallet. You can send it directly to this wallet with very little hassle and very little time needed. Over here is an address converter where you can just plug in this lovely address right here and it will give you the different versions for each single one. But here's the important part. Tokens. This is the token part of your SLP at wallet. And this is where you will make a token. Now you need 0 0.001 BCH to create a token. We're going to send ourselves some BCH right now. Now that we've sent ourselves some BCH, you can see in the bottom left corner that we have 0 0.001 unconfirmed. This means that our BCH is still being confirmed by the blockchain. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create a token. Test token, to be specific, or TT. The document URL is most likely going to be leading you to your white paper if you've written up something about your token to make sure that everyone who sees your token can learn about it. This will send you to that link of the online source of your paper. The document hash is ignorable for now, but this would be the hash of that paper. The decimal places is the amount of decimals you can get in with your token. If you have two decimals, your token works like the US dollar. You can go down to two decimal places or a penny. 
it's not entirely necessary that you add a decimal on at all because you can increase the token quantity by simply removing the fixed supply. The fixed supply is something really kind of interesting, specifically about BCH tokens. It provides you with a minting patent, which means that even after the token is created, more tokens can be created on an on need basis. Now we're just going to create a thousand test token. With our unfixed supply, we can create a new token. You can see we've created a token. Now, I think, whoa, I don't think there's enough token. I actually think I should have made more. That's okay. You can create more token as long as you've left yourself the minting button whenever you feel like. You just have to re-put in your password and more token is made. This is important to remember that making more token is not necessarily a bad thing, especially if you bounty projects. What's important to remember is that the more token there is, the less value it's going to have. Now we've made our token. It's important to remember that we can send any kind of token we have to this wallet as well. Let's send ourselves some honk. Now, as you can see, the amount of BCH in our unconfirmed balance has gone up. Why? Well, because we sent ourselves some token, but I don't see a token here. Well, you see this little unknown token right here? Before a token has completely been added to your wallet, you need to double click and add it. And you can change the name of what the token is in your wallet, but it won't change the underlying token. So, as you can see, the document doc URL leads to the real honk SLP token. This is their white paper. It has quite a big supply, but it is a fixed supply. So there is no creation of new honk after this point. We're going to add it in. And as you can see, we have honk now. We have a balance of zero honk. And that is how you use the SLP wallet and how you can create a token or store any token you can get on your wallet. If at any point you are having trouble with this wallet or you just can't seem to make a token, I highly recommend going to the Simple Ledger Protocol Telegram room. These people are really nice and I was having some thoughts and troubles on figuring out exactly where some of the stuff went. So I went in and within about 30 seconds, someone had answered my question on what was going on in the SLP wallet and why I was having a little trouble making a token and what went into some of the token options. These are lovely people and they do good work. I also recommend the Electron Cash Room similarly filled with good people a lot of crossover between the two rooms and if you're interested in tokens or bch i recommend being in both these rooms if you can anyway that's the end of the token talk show for tonight we thank you for making a token effort and joining us for this evening